we're doing a study looking at the effects of the FIFA 11 Plus Injury Prevention Program, which is a 15 to 20 minute warm up program um, designed to prevent especially lower extremity injuries. Um, and it was designed for soccer players, although it has been used in other sports. So we were looking at whether or not it changes biomechanics. We know it's effective in reducing injuries um, by about 70%, and that's both lower extremity and upper extremity injuries that it impacts. But one of its targets is to change how people land, um, particularly where their knees are. So preventing a collapse of their knees as they jump, um, and then also as they cut and run. So we wanna know if it's actually effective in doing that. So for the last two years, we've been collecting data um, on collegiate women's soccer teams, um, and we've been doing both preseason and postseason testing um, biomechanically to see if they change um, with use of that program. Being a physical therapist, you automatically watch how people like move, um, especially walk, but particularly run and jump. And there's things that we are trained to look for clinically that we know are risk factors for future injury. So biomechanically, we call that especially like the peak knee abduction moment um, or angle or knee valgus. It's a lot easier to understand biomechanics when you already have an understanding of hu human movement. So now we're just putting numbers to a lot of things that we're already actually thinking about in the clinic. So I grew up playing soccer. Um, it's actually part of the reason I pursued the PhD here. I played through college and then also played in the Scottish Women's Premier League very shortly. And it's just been my passion to find a way to meld a career in soccer um, with physical therapy and hopefully now with research as well.